Hey guys, it's Brant. Back Steven? with Steven. Oh, well, you Whoa. Know. Whoa. Whoa. I, that step on your toes? He can say his own name. I stepped on your toes. I'm saying uh, from now on, I'm just going to go, hey, this is Brant. I'm going to let him then let him take over. And then I'm not going to say anything. It's going to be awkward. <laughs> be like... So we're back for Song Exchange Episode 6, for those of you who are keeping count. Yeah. And we hope that you're enjoying this. And yeah. we've got some pretty good feedback on it so far. I've had some people that I know personally that have seen these and they, they actually like, and they, all, they, like, they like to break from the KISS stuff too. So it's like they like seeing us doing stuff. And I've had actually, I had somebody stop me today and tell me that they're actually very excited about the arcade that we have coming. Yeah. And my head arcade that we have coming. We're going to be playing some games and talking about some games. So that's coming up for a little tidbit information for those of you who watch all of our videos. Yeah. So I'm going on to the hood first. If you know how this works, you've seen us do it. If you haven't, go back and watch one of the five other videos. Yeah. I'm going under the hood. And as see. always, links to the songs are in the description. Exactly. All right, so I'm pretty excited about this because um, this band is called Reckless Love. They are kind of your like a modern day uh, glam metal band, essentially. Um, this song is called Speedin'. Come and speed it, speed it, on the speed of life, like a lightning strike. It's off of their album Animal Attraction, which came out in 2011, which is really far ahead for a uh, for a glam metal band. And uh, it, I think I got into this band back when I was in high school, and I was kind of just like, I want to listen to glam metal, but I want to listen to well-produced glam metal. So I was like, is there any modern glam metal bands? And I found, you know, obviously Steel Panther is probably the big boy of uh, the modern glam metal, but. You know, if you're not into that kind of parody kind of music, then Still Panther wouldn't be your bag. I would recommend uh, Reckless Love because they're—I mean—they're just right up the alley of anyone who listens to this sort of music. Uh, another good one, another good band that plays kind of—they're a little bit more of a modern glam metal because they play glam metal style and have glam metal vocals, uh, but they're a little lower tuned, kind of like modern music would be. Uh, Santa Cruz and. <laughs> Someone's liking what they're listening to, apparently. Uh, I, I think I was going to be able to win him over with this, because I was like, I'm like, man, what can I play that I know that he'll just love, but I don't want to play something he's already heard. And I, what I really, really want is for me, me to go, when do you think this was recorded? And he go like, oh, 1985 or whatever. And I'm like, nope, it's 2011. Uh, so... <laughs> We got about half the song left. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about the song because it's just, it's kind of just your archetypal 80s glam metal song. Not too much to it. Um, it everything about it is great. The guitars are great. Uh, the lead singer has a, a great voice. I don't know, as you guys know, I don't really keep track of members of bands. That's not really my bag. My dad's way more into looking up where people were born and when they took their first step and stuff. So. Uh, I'm just going to let him finish enjoying listening to this, and we'll see what he thinks when he gets out from under there. So, holy crap, who's that? <laughs> That's a band called Reckless Love. Okay. When do you think that song came out? It sounds old school, but I, but the the style of music sounds old school, but the recording technique sounds newer. Okay. So I would say maybe it's came out within the last five years. Close. Okay. 2011. That, 2011, that, okay. That album's called Animal Attraction. Okay. What's uh, that song called? Speedin'? Speedin'. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's Reckless Love, Speedin', Animal Attraction. Came out in 2011. Uh, the band was formed in 2001, but didn't actually record an album until 2010. Okay. So what do you think? I really like that. I mean, you know, you got, you got the devil horns yeah. out of me. I mean, uh, I love I love the way the drums sound in it, the, the guitars, the way it sounds, the recording. They did some phasing in it and everything, some really good effects. 
I just man that that kind of music right there is just right up my alley. I mean, I, I, that 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 could have been if you have if you're an '80s bro or an '80s sis or whatever, and you like that kind of music and you've never heard this before, you need to check that song out. That song is phenomenal. I like that. Yeah. I sit here going. To, I was listening. I was listening to hear if it had some kind of funniness or sexual innuendos to it. Because at first there was a part and he says. I'm going to show you what bumpers are for or something like that. And I was thinking, okay, is this still Panther? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> first I thought, it, when I knew, it first started, I was like, is this is he playing Steel Panther for me? Yeah, I know, but, I know who you know Steel Panther is. But, um, so. but you know, I, no, I liked it. I'd give that a probably, uh, um, I would give that a, God, about a nine probably. I mean, I really, really liked it. Yeah, I thought know? I thought you would. Yeah, what I really secretly wanted, but I, I mean, I know you have a good ear, and I know you would have caught on to the recording. Right. But what I really wanted you to be was like, yeah, it was recorded in like '85. Or, yeah. Or say it was a band that you thought it was. Sound wise, that the mu- the styling of the music and everything, that was mid to late '80s. You yeah. know, '85 to nine, '85, '89, somewhere in there. Um, cause you know, they could have been right in there with Poison and any of those guys, Warrant, they could have been right in a lot of those bands, the, what they call the B list and the C list copy bands that came out during that time. Yeah. You know, um, they could have been right in there with those, but, but then I, I the recording of it, the actual recording of it sounded so good. I was like, it's gotta be newer technology. Yeah. It's gotta be digital, getting into digital stuff and everything. So. Um, but I really like that. What did you score? What would you score that? I, I love that song. I, I'd give it a ten. Give it a ten. Yeah, mo- what I said um, was, I was looking. I found that band when I was in high school. Mm-hmm. I was looking for a glam metal band that sounded as good as what the music I'm normally listening to is. And I did a little research, and I found Steel Panther, and I was like, I listen to Steel Panther, but that's not some people's bag, right? Because their lyrics are quite, quite the treat sometimes, right? So I was like, well, let me try and find some other ones. And I ran a pro, uh, across another band that's not that one that I'll probably end up showing you mm-hmm. that I'm not going to say. Um, well, when you edit the video, you're going to hear me say it. So it was uh, <clears throat> Santa Cruz. Okay. Have you heard of them? Well, see, I probably wouldn't know. No, because I probably wouldn't know hearing from them. And I won't look them up. Don't look them up. Don't cheat. Okay. Um, one of them was Santa Cruz. And um, then there was Reckless Love. Okay. And that, when I looked that up, that album had just came out. All right. And the whole album is really, really good. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check that out. Yeah, yeah check. Check, check that out, guys. And uh, I'm going to give him the headphones, and he's getting ready to go under. All right. Okay, he's listening to Every Mother's Nightmare, a long-haired country boy. Lying, asking nobody for nothing. Now, uh, whenever Every Mother's Nightmare, uh, whenever their album came out, their debut album came out with Love Can Make You Blind and all those songs on it, uh, I loved it. Um, And it kind of blew my mind that, you know, uh, that they had some they had some good songwriting. They had some great songs on this album. Long Haired Country Boy is a remake of the Charlie Daniels song, and I just love their version of it. I love the way that they do it. I really like the way that um, they kind of take it and they make it their own song. Uh, but this album is a really good album. If you've never heard it and if you haven't heard it, I don't know what kind of rock you've been under. It's one of those albums that, you know, most people who grew up listening to music during this time um, has heard it. Um, but it starts off with uh, Hard to Hold. Uh, easy Come, Easy Go is good. Bad on Love is good. Walls Come Down. Walls Come Down is one of my really favorite songs on the album. Uh, love Can Make You Blind. Of course, of course, everybody's heard Love Can Make You Blind. Um Listen Up, Deuce to Pay. really like Deuce to Pay. That's a really good song. Long Hair Country Boy, Lord Willen. Lord Willen's a good song, and then Nobody Knows. Nobody Knows is a really good song, too. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about the band themselves. This is a band that 
And this is the only album of theirs that I ever really listened to. Uh, this came out during a time uh, when there was so much music out there and music was changing so much. Uh, and there were so many bands out there to listen to that uh, I had to really, really like you. During this time, I was really loading up with Guns N' Roses and uh, bands like that. And plus, I did get into the 90s bands, you know, Alice in Chains. I'm a big fan of Alice in Chains. So I got in. So when there are some band, bands that came out that kind of um, overshadowed other bands. I really did like this album. I remember this was one of the albums one summer that this was one of the albums I listened to. It was in my CD player pretty much the whole time during the summer, along with uh, Pretty Boy Floyd, um, Bullet Boys. Uh, the Bullet Boys album, I think it was their second album, which wasn't as good as their first. Um, I'm eventually going to play some Bullet Boys for him. I'm eventually going to play some Pretty Boy Floyd for him. Uh, but, um, you know, don't want to give away too much because we do see these videos. He can't hear me now, but he will see the video when, when he watches it. So, it's getting ready to go off. So, we'll see what he thinks about it. But, uh, Every Mother's Nightmare, Long Haired Country Boy... Check it out. The link's down in the description. So, do you recognize that band? Nope. Should I? Have you ever heard the song Love Can Make You Blind? Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is a band called Every Mother's Nightmare. It sounds like it. And that's a, <laughs> that's a cover of the Charlie Daniels song... You know, Long Haired Country Boy. Yeah. So that, when do you think that came out, mm. that album? Mid-90s. 1990. It was right there on the cusp of metal getting... Metal taking over. It was right there under the cusp of uh, metal getting swept under the rug by... by uh, Grunge. By Grunge. So, what do you think? Uh, I knew that it sounded... Strange, because uh, I I don't recognize the Charlie Daniels song you're uh, referencing either. Right. Um, I knew it sounded strange, and I was like, well, maybe this is just like a like a real niche, like '80s metal genre. It was like super like Tennessee country, <laughs> Tennessee country going metal. Right. Right. Uh, uh, and I'm like, uh. so. It's really good. I'm going to say the same thing I say about almost every song. It has really good guitars. It's good recording. He has a little bit too much reverb on his voice, in my opinion. Uh, I think, I mean, it's a solid song. If I had to score it, I'd probably give it around an 8. Uh, the lyrics are pretty funny. Mm -hmm. in, in like an amusing way. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I mean, I liked it pretty well. Okay. All right. Yeah, so that's uh, Every Mother's Nightmare um, mm -hmm. and uh, Long Haired Country Boy. And that's off their debut album, Every Mother's Nightmare. And it came out in... And I, I was just saying, I've never... I, I, I don't know anything really about the band. It wasn't a band that... That was an album I bought during the summer of 1990, and I listened to it during the summer of 1990. But I was also listening to a bunch of other bands during that time. So they were in rotation, but they didn't get... I, I wasn't ingrained in the band themselves enough to get to know them and right. learn about them or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. And I don't even know anything about their albums after that. Uh, so I, it's one of those, it's like... It's a one-off. That's a one-off. I, I have a lot of one-offs from the 80s. And I mentioned some, some of them in my video, which you'll hear. And I, if, you've heard, if you haven't heard of them, don't look them up, kind of like I did for you. Because you'll eventually hear some of their songs too. So... Um, so I guess that's it. I guess that wraps this episode up. All right, so we're going to go and wrap this episode up. We appreciate you watching. Be yep. sure to subscribe, share, comment. Check out those links down in the description there to listen to these songs. Yep. And you want to say it? We'll see you next time. On? Song Exchange. Song Exchange. Thanks for setting me up. <laughs> Thanks for the setup, Dad. Th thanks for the ride, lady. <laughs> <laughs>